I have recently gotten into CNC machining with the Saint Smart Genmitsu 3018 Prover V2. This is a great machine that can cut a variety of materials really well. However, there are a few things you need to know if you're thinking of buying this machine. So let's take a deep dive and see how good it can actually cut. As we go along, we're going to give this machine a score out of 5 for each of the items in this table. There is one surprise which I'll share with you towards the end, so please do stick around. Alright, let's dive in. So, first impressions on the packaging are great. Everything is secured and organised well, and even though this is my first CNC machine, I am not really feeling intimidated by all the different parts. Apparently the assembly process is meant to take around 20 minutes according to Genmitsu's website. But I am a really smart person so it took me 60 minutes to assemble it. Uh, in my defense though, I mean I am recording everything along the way so maybe that plays a part. All the steps are well documented and easy to follow. The pictures are nice and clear and all the little bits and pieces you need are organized in this handy little box which makes them a breeze to find. So here's the assembled machine. It looks great and I felt the process was really smooth. So for now we can give it a 5 star rating for packaging and assembly. And now comes the fun part. Let's see what this machine can actually do. Using a combination of ZBrush for sculpting, Fusion 360 for toolpath generation and Candle for machining. I managed to carve out this wooden half gear design that I really wanted to try. And the machine handled this job absolutely perfectly. I've tried milling pine, oak and sycamore on this machine and it has really handled all of them with absolute ease. And with a bit of wood burning afterwards this wooden carving is looking absolutely amazing. So given its performance on a variety of woods, which includes carving and engraving, I am more than happy to give this machine a solid 5 out of 5 score. And now let's move on to the next item in the list. I designed a circuit board in Altium Circuit Maker, routed it up and loaded it into Candle for machining. And honestly, I was really really pleased with the results. I did have to lower the feed rates because I noticed that at higher feed rate values the tool head started to chatter a little bit as it made contact with the copper surface, which sounded really unpleasant and would most certainly damage my tools in the long run. So you can definitely make great PCBs with this machine, but because the spindle did struggle a bit and forced me to lower the cutting feed rates. I'm going to be fair and give this a 4.5 out of 5 score. Alright and now for the final surprise milling project. I do occasionally make machines that require metal parts, especially in aluminium, so again this is something that I was really keen to try. Now I should say that Genmitsu has made it clear that this machine is only for soft metal engraving and not full on milling, but let's give it a go anyway. So I loaded that same gear model that we tried earlier, but a simpler version with no sculpting, just simple primitive shapes. And I have to be totally honest, the machine really exceeded my expectations. I was surprised at how it handled cutting a thick, dense piece of aluminium with practically no visible deviation from the design file. Yes, the surface finish left a bit to be desired, but honestly, from a machine that's not designed to cut aluminium, I was still pretty impressed. However, I had to really, really, really lower the cutting feed rates for this and the machine still took about 24 hours to cut. So overall, even though it can clearly cut deep into soft metal, I would personally avoid doing so on this machine unless you absolutely have no other choice and of course if you're not worried about how long it will take. However, if you're cutting smaller pieces that aren't so deep, then it is entirely feasible. Okay, and given my experience, I am going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 score for carving soft metal. And now, here's the biggest question of them all. Should you buy this machine? 
And honestly, I have to say, if you are planning on making just PCBs and you're not too concerned with, for example, cutting wood, metal, plastics, and other materials, then there are other options that are substantially cheaper but can still cut fairly decent PCBs. However, if you're anything like me and you like to experiment with different materials, then this is definitely the best entry level machine to start with. So that's it from me everyone, thanks for sticking around and I hope you found this useful. Do let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you next time.